Hi, and welcome to Photo Director 5. Not only great software for editing your photos, but also for getting them organized. Photo Director gives us tools to build an efficient workflow and have our photos sorted in a way that makes editing and enhancing them easier. Okay, let's import some images. This time we're importing a folder. In the import window, we have a variety of options. Photos can be kept where they are, or extra copies made in the selected locations. During import, we can apply a preset, add information including text, and choose how we rename images. Once our photos are imported, we can select the viewer and browser, viewer only, or browser only mode. One great feature in PhotoDirector 5 is face tagging. This is just one convenient way to organize your images, and PhotoDirector makes it easy. PhotoDirector groups photos containing the same face. All we need to do is to give names to them. Once that's done, our photo collection starts to become more organized. Now the photos are grouped by face tags. Under the Metadata tab, PhotoDirector stores the embedded EXIF metadata from your camera. The IPTC section allows us to add our own details. Keyword tags can be added here as well. Here we're selecting a group of photos to tag. Another way of tagging in PhotoDirector is flag tagging. This helps to sort photos we may want to use later. If we filter by flag, the selected photos are displayed. Star rating is another way of sorting. Let's build our collection by importing more photos. Here, we're trying to select which photos we'll use for a catalogue display. Using PhotoDirector's Compare mode simplifies the process. Images are compared beside the current selection. We can change this at any time. Star ratings and flags help narrow the choices. After all the photos are imported for the project, photos are organized by tags, faces, flags, folders and ratings. And we're ready to start editing.